There are 27 professional teams in the highest levels of baseball in Japan, Korea, and Taiwan combined. Together, they're like the Major League of the East, and while they don't compete against each other, and there are disparities in the levels of talent, you can't help but notice that they're just three expansion teams away from equaling MLB in size. So, could we see a three-team expansion in the Far East in the near future? Absolutely. Could new teams spring up in all three leagues? Maybe. Where would these teams be? Hard telling. That's always hard to answer when we're talking about expansion. Today I want to look at the pros and cons of expansion in each of these three leagues, the likelihood of it actually happening, and possible locations for these expansion teams. We'll start in Japan, the largest and richest of the three, and the one that's gone the longest without any expansion. Since the 1950s there have been 12 teams in NPB. The last expansion team was the Rock 10 Eagles, joining the league in 2004, but that came at the same time as the merger of the Oryx Blue Wave and the Kintensa Buffaloes into the Oryx Buffaloes, so the number of teams remained the same. Actually, this has been somewhat of a good thing for the league. With the number of teams never changing and the talent pool increasing, the league has gotten a lot stronger over the years and has raised its prestige among baseball fans around the world. This would be a negative thing about expansion. If you add a few teams, the talent pool gets watered down, especially at a time when the country's population is in decline and young athletes are playing a wider variety of sports. But NPB is worried about their competition, and I don't mean competing with MLB for talent. Their primary concern is competing with J-League, for fans. J-League is the country's professional soccer league, the second biggest sports league in the country. It's only been around since 1992. Prior to that, NPB was the one dominant professional sports league with no serious threat. J-League has 18 teams at the top level, known as J-1, dozens more in J-2 and J-3, so the league is spread out into big and small cities alike throughout the country. Sports fans in smaller cities have hope of seeing their home soccer team get promoted to J-1 and compete with the top teams and top players in the country. But to see baseball, they have to go to the nearest big city, and sometimes a big city isn't so near. So you can understand, from a business standpoint, why NPB would want to expand and bring the game to smaller markets. The most desired expansion would involve four teams. You'd want the same number in each league to keep it balanced. And you want an even number in each league so they're not playing interleague games all season. The last suggestion I heard was for a two-team expansion at first, then another two teams a couple years later. A lot of cities have been mentioned, but four really stand out as the most likely expansion candidates. The best thing about these four cities is that they've already got stadiums with a capacity of 30,000. Whenever we talk about MLB expansion, stadiums are always the number one issue, but here it's already taken care of. Shizuoka is one of these cities, a city of almost 700,000 located in Shizuoka Prefecture, which has a population of 3.6 million people, definitely enough to support a pro team. But getting their support might be tricky. It's located halfway between Nagoya and Tokyo, about two hours from each city. Nagoya is home to the Chunichi Dragons, and five teams are located in the Tokyo metro area, so Shizuoka residents may already have their loyalties and won't be willing to change for the new team. Their ballpark is Kusanagi Stadium, and while the size of the park would not be an issue, the age of it could be. It was built in 1930, so it may require some renovation. Another city is Niigata, located on the west coast of the main island where there are no NPB teams. The city is more than three hours away from the nearest NPB city. Niigata Prefectural Baseball Stadium just opened in 2009, has hosted NPB games, and even hosted the All-Star Game in 2010. Population is the only drawback. The city's population is about 800,000, a good number to draw from, but the surrounding area is very rural. No other big cities nearby, making it a very small market. Matsuyama is another possible city, not a big city with only half a million people, but it's on the island of Shikoku, the only one of Japan's four main islands that does not have an NPB team. The nearest NPB teams are more than three hours away. The population of the island is 3.8 million. Matsuyama Central Park Baseball Stadium, nicknamed Botchan Stadium, was built 20 years ago. It has hosted NPB games with pretty good attendance figures. The last one is Naha Okinawa. Two problems with this. One is population. The island has 1.4 million people. Not bad, but the surrounding area is all ocean, so that 1.4 million is all you've got. The other problem is distance. The island is pretty far from most NPB cities. And it's an island, so they're probably not going to bring in many visiting fans who are used to traveling from one city to another by train. Their ballpark is called Okinawa Cellular Stadium, built in 1959 but renovated in 2010. Okinawa just launched its first pro baseball team, called the Ryukyu Blue Oceans, and they're hoping to join NPB soon. So, Japan has four really good candidate cities for NPB expansion. The only question is, is it worth it to dilute the league's talent pool to increase the league's popularity? Now let's look at Korea. The KBO expanded twice in the last decade, from 8 to 9 teams in 2013, and up to 10 teams in 2015. 
Unlike NPB, all 10 KBO teams play in a single league, so they don't have to worry about keeping two sides balanced. But, a two-team expansion is desired to avoid the messy scheduling that comes with an odd number of teams. Someone commented on an old video of mine that there are two cities with KBO-sized stadiums and a big enough population to support a team, so I looked into it. One of these cities is Ulsan, a city of over a million people, one of the ten largest in South Korea, so it has enough people. And it's got the highest GDP per capita in the country at $65,000. Definitely the kind of place any league would want to expand to. Ulsan Baseball Stadium just opened in 2012, so it's in good condition. Capacity is 12,000, so it would be the smallest KBO ballpark. Currently the smallest is 13,000, so it wouldn't be the smallest by much. This is the second home for the Lotte Giants. That's where the problem comes in. Busan, first home of the Giants, is only about an hour from Ulsan, so they'd be counting on Ulsan residents, who are probably Giants fans now, to switch allegiances and support the new team. So the city's got lots of people with lots of money and a good ballpark, but an already existing team with a huge loyal fan base might be too close for this to work. The other city is Pohong, a city of over half a million people. The Pohong Baseball Stadium, just like the one in Ulsan, opened in 2012 with a capacity of 12,000. It's the second home for the Samsung Lions who play in Daegu, less than an hour from Pohong. So you can already see that the same problem would exist here. Plus it's a smaller city, I don't think this would work. But I could be wrong, maybe both Pulsan and Pohong could support an expansion team. But right now I'd say it's too soon after the last expansion. Then we have the CPBO, where they just expanded from 4 to 5 teams last year. Though the new team, the Weichuan Dragons, is competing in the minor league this year and won't join the other four until 2021. Actually, it's not a new team, it was a founding member of the league that disbanded in 1999. Now there are five teams, an odd number, so they'll want another team so that someone doesn't always have to have a day off. They had six teams before, so they won't be venturing into unknown territory by adding another team. The league was reduced to four teams after a series of game-fixing scandals. Now that that's ancient history, they can try to get back to where they were before. The idea that gets thrown around the most is the Australian Baseball League forming a CPBL team. The ABL is a winter league with a short season that wouldn't conflict with the CPBL schedule. The team would be based in a Taiwanese city and would be composed of both Australian and Taiwanese players. This idea seemed to be gaining steam until January of 2019 when it was put on hold, though not dropped completely. Around the same time, Okinawa was interested in sending a team to the CPBL. The biggest problem with this idea is the money. It costs a lot to have enough players for a full 120 game CPBL season. They wouldn't generate much revenue being a foreign visiting team that would not be very competitive. The ABL's intent here is to get some good summer competition for their local players, but in the end they'll probably decide it's not worth the money they'd lose. As for Okinawa, I've already said they're one of the top candidates for NPB expansion, so the idea of a CPBL team from Okinawa has probably been dropped completely. Another idea is to revive one of the past teams, Eagles, Whales, Cobras, T-Rex, Tigers, but little interest has been shown from companies and local governments. So there doesn't seem to be a good candidate at this time, but it's unlikely that they'll settle for a five-team league for too long. A sixth ball club is coming, but we have no idea what or where it will be. In conclusion, the best bet for expansion in Asia looks like it's in Japan, where as many as four teams could be added. Korea looks set for now, the next round of expansion won't be for at least another decade and the CPBL will expand as soon as someone is ready to start up a new team. What do you think? Is expansion a good idea for these three leagues? If they do expand, how many teams should be added? And where will those teams be? That's all for today, and until next time, this is Baseball International. See ya.